Hi there, this is Ravi and I will be briefing on implementing Salesforce relationship queries through Power Exchange for Salesforce. The agenda of the presentation would include an overview of Salesforce relationship queries with a mention on involved type of relationships, details on types of relationship queries that can be implemented in Power Center through Power Exchange for Salesforce along with a implementation or a demonstration and a discussion on the circumstances under which the relationship queries can be made use of. Salesforce client applications need to be able to query for more than a single type of object at a time. Salesforce SOQL provides such a syntax to support these types of queries which are termed as relationship queries which is against both standard objects and custom objects. Relationship queries traverse parent to child and child to parent relationships between objects to filter and return required results. They are similar to SQL joins however you cannot perform arbitrary SQL joins. The relationship queries in SQ SOQL must traverse a valid relationship path across involved Salesforce objects. So such relationships ex exist between many types of objects. For example, um, the object contact and object account are related and account is a parent of contact. Of these two kinds of relationships, Power Center can be configured to make use of child to parent relationship query. Let us look at an implementation on how this can be done. So as a first step we will import a Salesforce object uh, we will be importing contact Salesforce object for the demonstration purposes. Here is the Salesforce object import wizard. So once we select the contact object, we can also import related objects which are listed. Let's select account as the related object for the contact for importing purposes. Clicking on include button would include the account as well. Now we have selected contact and the account, uh, uh, the related object account for importing. So this uh, would finish the importing process. So once it is imported, we can go ahead and create a mapping using the created source for an implementation of the mapping logic. This is a sample mapping created from the source which has been imported just now. The source would include the contact as well as the related object account which are related through uh, the mentioned uh, account ID. So the mapping logic would be straightforward. We will pull whatever fields which are required from the contact object and and the relevant fields from the account object as well to be able to load to the required target file. Let's run a simple session to see how the query gets generated. So this is a session made out of the created mapping so let's quickly start the workflow to see its results
opening the session log to see the exact SOQL that got generated during the session run. So here we see the exact SOQL that is prepared by Power Center. The select statement includes not only the fields from the contact but also we see fields which are included for example account dot is deleted account dot master record ID and so on which are included while reading data from contact object so essentially this demonstrates how we can make use of relationship queries specifically child to parent relationship query uh, which we can use to power exchange for sales for to be able to read required fields from the relevant objects so we have seen and heard how we can implement child to parent relationship queries in power exchange for salesforce we will have a look at the circumstances under which such implementation can be done so one possible one mandatory reason is that the data is to be from salesforce alone because the relationship query would work, work only in that case a second mandate would be to load data for salesforce object or the related objects so as mentioned earlier the objects have to be uh, having a valid relationship path across themselves to be able to be imported as related objects so the objects have to be related to be able to do such a relationship query another aspect of it is that while reading the data there won't be any transformation of the data, data during reading itself so the transformation can be done at, at a later point of time after the reading but while reading no such transformation on the data is possible uh, while querying relationship query essentially the advantage of using a relationship query is that the session performance could improve because there is no explicit joining of data sets that has to be done in the mapping for joining two sets of data namely contact and account in the example scene therefore using relationship query wherever ap applicable could improve session performance this ends our discussion on implementation of relationship queries through power exchange for salesforce we would love to hear from you on the mentioned channels please do feel free to give us the feedback thank you